Good morning, people. Just want to make a quick apology for my inappropriate language yesterday. You know, it's unacceptable. I accept that. You know, but emotions run high. We get involved, and it is the fight game. It was pandemonium. You know, but let me sincerely apologise for my uh, outburst of language. You know, I wasn't alone doing it, but uh, I want to come out and apologise because I feel, you know, it's appropriate to make that apology to the people who came to the press conference and the viewing audiences. I sincerely apologise, and uh, I'll try and improve. But people, this is John Fury. This is my character. This is who I am. I'm a real person. I'm not a fake person. Nothing scripted. It just happens when it happens. But again, I apologise for my inappropriate language. And uh, if I've offended anybody, I'm deeply sorry. See you next time. Hey, yo! Ah! Ah! Don't mind me! Just smoking on that J. Paul pack! <laughs> Honestly, Jake Paul, trash! Tommy Fury, People are saying that I have no chance, zero chance. But then when I get in that ring and knock out Tommy Fury, they're gonna look at me differently. Oh no, there's no dreaming, it's facts. Jake Paul said the yeah. same thing. Yeah, but I'm not Jake Paul. Knock you out. YouTube boxing has quite literally taken over the boxing scene, with most of the headliners being about celebrity boxing rather than professional boxing. Boxers like Jake Paul, and KSI, and Logan Paul tend to take the main headliners for boxing nowadays. This has led to mixed thoughts on boxing in general, with KSI's promotion outing their own fighters. He did, or I guess KSI saying Slim has officially ducked Salt Poppy. LMAO, mm. what a bitch. He even asked to fight him at 165. <laughs> Salt Poppy said, sure, now Slim has gone missing. By the way, damn. This is one of the CEOs of Misfits. All right, right, right. What did she say? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> and creating tag team boxing, and Jake Paul's somewhat sticking to a traditional boxing, fighting professionally sanctioned fights, but the catch is it's against old, retired UFC fighters. But before we go any further into the video, make sure to subscribe for more boxing news. KSI is set to fight an undefeated boxer, Tommy Fury, aka the younger brother of Tyson Fury, the current WBC title holder. This has caused many thoughts to spiral in people's heads. Like, is KSI vs. Tommy Fury the final fight of KSI's boxing career? Should he win? Or will we get to finally see the fight that everyone has been waiting for, which is Jake Paul vs. KSI? Then there's the question of if KSI should beat Tommy Fury, does that make him better than Jake Paul? Of course, in my opinion, styles make fights, so no, it wouldn't matter to me if KSI beat Tommy Fury or not. Although, yes, I would say KSI would be heavily favored leading up to the potential fight. So there are so many questions that are going unanswered. But the main question that I would like answered is will KSI ever actually fight Jake Paul? I mean, I'm starting to believe this isn't ever going to happen. It's weird how influencer boxing was created so that fights that fans wanted to see could get put on. Now it's slowly becoming more like traditional boxing. 
Currently, you have the Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder situation and the Tyson Fury and Alexander Yuzik situation, where fans want to see these fights get made, but everyone is playing a game of hide-and-go-seek, and one will seek for the fight, and the other will make up 10,000 excuses for why the fight can't be made. And then it just flips, and the other one goes to hiding while the other one seeks. Just stupid. Well, I can sit here and ask a million more questions, but I'll just move on to the next segment of the video. Seconds out would interview Eddie Hearn, and he would say this. But, you know, that actually starts to move closer to the real boxing uh, move. And I think KSI has done unbelievably well. I mean, I have a lot of respect for him outside of the ring, because I think he's a super smart guy. But I actually have a lot of respect for him in the ring now, because he's actually stepping up his opposition, and he believes in himself. And Tommy Fury, although he's not going to go on and be coming, you know, anything in professional boxing. He's at least a professional boxer in my eyes and, you know, can box. Um, and well done to Tommy Fury. He's absolutely swum the channel. He's making millions. What is it, an eight-rounder? Is it? Six? Six? Eight? I mean, car. He's boxed Jake Paul. He's boxed K uh, KSI. He's probably made 10 mil for the two in two eight-rounders. I'm going to be honest, I have the same thoughts. I mean, here's Tommy Fury fully building up his record and suddenly some dude with a receding hairline starts yapping his mouth about how he wants to box him. Now, if you're Tommy Fury, you have two choices. One, don't take the fight and look like a coward and continue down the traditional boxing route. Or two, take the fight and make millions easily, beat up a punk, and possibly be looked down upon by professional boxers. I know if I was Tommy Fury, I would take the same route he did. He's easily making himself a massive bag and at such a young age without really fighting anyone on his level. It's easy money. Eddie Hearn would continue and he would say this if KSI were to beat Tommy Fury. It's slightly embarrassing, I guess, from you know, from his pedigree. But KSI's no, I mean, he's improving a lot. Um, it can happen. I mean, Jake Paul nearly beat Tommy Fury. It's only a round or two in it. So I think it's going to be a good fight. It's going to do massive numbers. And it's live on the design. Now, I think he's slightly downplaying this. In my opinion, this would be very embarrassing for Tommy Fury to lose, and here's why. One, he's a Fury. The name alone resonates with winning fights, and to lose to a YouTuber would mean Tommy Fury was never going to be a great boxer. And two, because Tommy Fury has all the advantages in the world when it comes to f this fight. He has the ring IQ and the experience. So, no, I think if Tommy Fury loses, it will be very embarrassing for him and his family. Jake Paul would say his part, which was like 50 different excuses before muttering out his opinion. Yeah, I think proper preparation before I was trying to squeeze in a camp into seven weeks, was sick, tried to push push past a bunch of things going on in my life. And uh, yeah, there's no shortcuts in this sport. And I tried to take shortcuts. And I think that was the biggest lesson overall. And just uh, having the best team around me to push me and to protect me as much as possible. Also have his back with the Tommy Fury fight. Do you see him winning that? Or what do you see happening? No, I think he's going to get knocked out by Tommy in less than five rounds. I'm not going to lie, when he said that, for some reason I started laughing, not because I disagree with it, but because it's just the way he said it. I don't necessarily think KSI will get knocked out. I think KSI can survive the fight if he doesn't try to fight like a maniac, and is actually tactical and smart with where he's throwing. But if he boxes like he boxed against FaZe Temper or Joe Fournier, then yeah, I agree with Jake Paul, he's getting knocked out. KSI will get taught what distance and setting up a shot is all about, if he tries to do what he did with Fournier to Tommy Fury. But if he's smart and boxes tactically by throwing the jab and setting up shots from distance, then I think KSI could survive the fight. Although the outcome wouldn't change, I still think he loses. And of course, what would this video be if I didn't include Mams Taylor? Here's what he had to say. KSI is the underdog. He enjoys being the underdog more than anything else. That's where he performs best. He had no business beating an athletic, incredible, uh, you know, some, a kid who outweighed him uh, in Logan Paul. You know, outweighed him by quite a bit. A natural athlete from school, JJ. Look at him 10 years ago with his glasses, playing FIFA. And you tell me that this guy would beat Logan. You know, it's he's his will to win is second to none. His determination, his work rate, um, his work ethic. And he applies it to anything he's passionate about. And he's very passionate about boxing. So he's going to be a he's going to be a tough night for anyone right now in that in that. He doesn't have an ounce of doubt. His self-belief is second to None. I've never met someone who believes and manifests what he wants to do because not just look, I could sit there and meditate and say, hey, I want to be Mr. X. I want to fly. I want to do this and that. You're not going to do it unless you put the work in. This kid thinks about it. He manifests it by putting in the work and he doesn't miss a single session. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, you know what? Tonight I'm going to chill. I'm going to party. I'm going to have a drink. He doesn't do that. He's here to 
to cement his legacy, and part of his overall legacy is this. Now, I think Mams Taylor was pretty fair here. Obviously, KSI is a hardworking person, and we got to give him that credit, but his style of boxing or just throwing punches wildly isn't going to help him in his legacy. I mean, his favorite boxer is Anthony Joshua. If you watch a young Anthony Joshua, he was similar to KSI, had the power to knock out anyone. The difference is Anthony Joshua was still more technically sound, and when Joshua went up against Klitschko, his throw and prey exposed his weakness. Klitschko was able to knock him down, even though, yes, Joshua won, it still shows the power without skill, and technical training is useless useless. Another good example is Deontay Wilder. He was beating guys left and right by knockout, but when he faced a boxer who actually had technical skills and power, he got beat. It's almost like the Francis Nagano versus Tyson Fury fight. Francis has the power to knock out anyone with one punch, but Tyson Fury is fundamentally above Francis in boxing that when the night comes, it will show and Tyson Fury will win. Dean Kenny would say well, exactly what I'm thinking. Oh man, I think I think Tommy, Tommy beats him because Tommy's because of Tommy's experience, his background in boxing, comes from a line, family of boxing. KSI is, I think KSI would win if he gets a lucky punch. But I do think Tommy has the better experience and experience can go a long way in boxing, especially when it's been that long. He's been doing it since he was a kid. So as YouTubers, we got a lot of um, years to catch up with these pros. I know people say he's obviously not the greatest in pro boxing, but at the end of the day, he's still been doing it since he's a kid. There's a lot of skills, tips and tricks he knows since he's a kid that we haven't enough, had enough time to catch up, in my opinion. So, if KSI can land a lucky shot, then he wins. Honestly, could just wrap up the video right now. What King Kenny just described here is exactly what I'm thinking. A lot of people seem to be thinking the same thing. Tommy Fury has everything he needs to beat KSI relatively easy. I think Tommy Fury should win this without a problem. What do you guys think? If you liked the video, make sure to click the like button. And if you disliked the video, make sure to click the dislike button. And as always, have a great day.